right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We are so excited to have you here with us. My name is Tom Bauman. I work with RE Technology. And in, you know, in the past, I've actually coached thousands of agents. I've worked with literally thousands of agents, teams, brokers, worked with them on digital marketing, lead generation, and really gotten to see what works and what doesn't work when it comes to generating leads, actively you know, filling your funnel, keeping your pipeline full. And we're so excited to have uh, Vincent and Scott here with us here today with Listings to Leads because they've got a product that we've had the opportunity to see firsthand how this has helped uh, countless agents and brokers really change the course of their business, generate inbound leads consistently uh, at a, a very reasonable cost. And we are so excited to introduce them here today to share some of what they what they do to help agents and teams. And uh, you know, while you're here, guys, make sure you ask questions. Uh, you know, you can use the chat box for that. We'd love to get you engaged, get you participating. And, you know, these guys are a wealth of knowledge. They're excited about what they do. And so, you know, you know, make sure you take advantage of that. Ask those questions, participate throughout today's class. And with that, I'll turn it over. Vincent, Scott, welcome. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Um, yeah, about asking questions, I'm going to try and keep this to like 30 minutes of straight content so everybody understands very quickly what is available here. But definitely ask your questions in the chat panel. You don't have to wait till the end. And of course, we're going to have some time at the end. Um, let's just high level talk about uh, listings to leads. We've been here for 14 years. Our focus has always been to help agents um, grow their business with advertising, with social media, if they have listings to help them multiply those listings, and if they don't have listings to help them get buyers or sellers. So if you need more buyer leads, if you need more seller leads, we have a whole solution here of multiple ways of reaching your market and developing your farm markets, building your brand. And um, you just have to kind of sign up and use the platform. So um, today, this call is going to be focused on how to get listings. And we we all know that with the NAR settlement, that's become a more important uh, dis uh, discussion in, in real estate business. So there's a lot to listings to leads. We're going to focus on some of the top ways, top tools to help you get more listings. Um, but I do want to make sure that you understand that there's a whole lot more to it. So let's just for a couple minutes, look at some resources that we make available. Scott and I do live training every week and everybody, it's a, it's free classes. Scott's doing something here on social media, database and, and farm mastery. Um, I rotate through a call for lenders. I do a call called top tools to get listings and Facebook and Google ads, and of course, get started, right? So our client, we have new clients signing up every day. So we rotate through these classes so that they can all get up to speed quickly. This is on leadgenwebinars.com. And I'm going to see if I can actually send this to people. Um, I think that worked. Um, and that's where you sign up for live classes, right? And we'll be talking and, and going through things um, live and showing you what's happening. We record every class that we do. When Scott does a class, he records it, and so do I. And they are all here on our YouTube channel. And I think this is one of our best resources for you to understand what is available and what you can do. Now, Scott's got a kind of a series of going down particular aspects of real estate marketing. And I definitely recommend that you dive in there. And, and a lot of it, you know, it's going to show our tools, but a lot of it is just going to show you what you should be doing to hit your market. Um, I think everybody that starts with us should check out the Get Started class. But as we're talking today about top tools for more listings, you're going to notice that I do a class every couple of weeks called Top Tools for More Listings. And I would definitely check that out. This is going to be a short version of that. There's a lot of uh, useful content here. Definitely spend a little time on this page. And there's one other great resource that I want to talk about, aside from, you know, just a terrific you support. Know, and if I can just say real quickly, in our YouTube videos, we literally walk through and do it. So we're not just talking about things where at the end of the call, you have more questions and answers. So when you are watching our YouTube videos, if you got the ability to have a second screen, you'll be able to literally walk through and do it with Vince or with me and actually get things done while you're watching the video. So highly recommended, uh, highly recommended. Yeah, I think too, that we just really appreciate that focus on education. So many tech companies just deliver a product and there's really no support, right? And so you guys are, are educating agents on how they can get the most out of your systems. 
Um, we did have a quick question in the chat. I don't know if you guys want to answer this one now, but just wanted to bring it to your attention. Uh, Alicia was asking about uh, if there's marketing that's tailored toward investor buyer clients. And my, to my knowledge, everything's customizable, right, at some level? There, it, Everything is customizable, but um, we do have landing pages specifically, I think. Right, Scott? That's kind of the iBuyer story. Yeah, we got the iBuyer landing page. We've also got a uh, cash offer landing page going live shortly. And we got a number of PDF guides related to investors. I can't think off the top of my head, but I would definitely check out our PDF guides for homeowners and home sellers. I think a few of them are investor related also. We'll, we'll be looking at those in just a minute. Um, so this is our mastermind group, and this is also another great resource. It's a private group on Facebook. It's for our clients only. So you do have to become a client and ask the support team to get you in there. And this is where Scott and I talk about the, you know, kind of the newest, the latest technology that we're pushing. Um, we also, we, we both communicate with a lot of our clients, so we're sharing kind of good tips, but it's also a place where our clients ask questions or share what's going on with them. So I want to kind of dive into this because I think this is a really good story that came in just at the beginning of September. And Amy here says, Hey, uh, I signed up a few months ago and haven't done a thing with it. I'm considering canceling, but would love to hear some success stories. 30 comments came in here, but the one that stood out to me was this one here. And he says, I've been a client since 2014 and have produced hundreds of thousands of dollars in my business. It's core to my listing presentation. And in my opinion, the best monthly expense in my business. And that's the difference of, of our clients. There are so many agents who sign up and forget they signed up and we charge them 60 bucks a month, all right? Uh, but it doesn't really do much to their business. And there are other people that take a little bit of time learn what we've got, what's available to them, and then they go out and just start growing their, their business. And you can actually start a free trial for 30 days by scanning this right here. And this will take you to listings to leads and everything that we're doing, and, and we'll, I'll show you the website one more time where you can go sign up if you, if you don't want to scan this. Uh, everything that I'm going to show you on this call is available to you, even in a trial, okay? So, if you go to listingsleads.com for slash RE technology, you are going to be able to sign up for a 30 day free trial. If you go to our normal website, it's 14 days. So I definitely recommend that you go for the for the, for the longer trial, 30 day yeah, trial. Yeah, guys, this is an exclusive offer just for RE technology subscribers. And we're so excited that they were able to give this to you guys. And you could literally sign up for that free trial and within a few hours have inbound leads coming into your business. It's, it's super exciting. It's free leads. It's a no brainer. So we hope you'll take advantage of it. But let's uh, let's go ahead and show you how they actually generate these. Yeah. So here, what, when you sign up, you're going to be dropped onto a wizard. It's going to ask for your photograph and your logo and your colors and your social media. It's going to ask for your MLS email so we can start auto sweeping tools and that's going to actually allow us to auto post your listings if you have listings. And like Tom was saying, you can literally get free leads. It kind of blows our clients away if they have a big network on social media. When we're auto posting, yes, we have some text. Yes, we have photos, but we also put a landing page behind it. And when people are interested in that, they can click on it and they're gonna, you're going to get their name and email for free. And that's always, I think, an exciting thing. But here, we, after you're done with your wizard, Whenever you log in, you're always going to end up here on the dashboard. And I'm, I've clicked on generate seller leads because this page tees up everything that you need to get listing leads, right? And so I'm just going to, you know, quickly show you from the top of what we're talking about. You can create ads on Facebook and Google. I'm going to drive, uh, drill down these a little bit later. Um, you can market your sold and pending listings and uh, listings that are under contract. It's funny. I did a call. I think yesterday with a lady and uh, with, with with our clients and this one lady said, yeah, I've been wanting to market for 20 years, my sold listings. I've even like mocked stuff up. I've never done it. And I said, well, I'm going to show you how easy it is here. And this kind of, I think one thing is it, it helps in that, what is it? The uh, paralysis by analysis. We've teed everything up here and we make it so easy. And this section here. I'm not going to tell you about I hopefully Scott you can talk about it a little bit later because I saw you do something on this and this is actually really awesome but you want to market your listings at our later stage we have landing pages already created for you to generate seller leads and so I'll drive down here and we'll be able to see how to market those and 
there are 80 PDF guides in everybody's account. Okay. And we were talking about a few earlier when the question about investors was asked. And 40 of these are for home buyers and 40 of these are for home sellers. These are all branded to you on every page with your logo, your color scheme, all your branding and your contact information on every page. So you have a lot of ways to get things out there into the market. And there's some short form video scripts, some stats and stuff like that. But I want to get into right now the, the easiest way to get seller leads and the fastest, easiest way. And that is Facebook. And I'm going to click here and click create a listing ad. Because we're on the seller page, it's only showing us the properties that are going to help us get seller leads. And that's sold or pending properties. Leave it on lead ads. That means your leads are getting pre-populated from Facebook profiles. So we have Facebook software built in here. And you know how when you run an ad and you put, um, oh, let's see, let's get something with a better picture. When when you get like Mickey Mouse at Disney.com, that's because you're asking people to, to fill it in, right? And that can be, you know, frustrating. Um, but if you are using something like lead ads, that means that the form on Facebook is reaching into the profile of the person that picked it that click that button. And so it's grabbing their name, email, and phone number. And we ask them, how soon do you need to sell? And so all of that information is going to come to you. And that our clients absolutely love. And so this is pretty simple. You can customize this. You can say, hey, we sold this. And you might want to click in here and say, you know, we got eight offers. Um, I was talking to a lady a few weeks ago and she said, yeah, I pulled this from expired. The person couldn't sell it. And I sold it for, I think she said like 20K above the last listing price, right? And so these things are relevant to a person that owns a home, right? If you have multiple offers, if you sold it in just a couple of weeks, that gets people more motivated to click this. I do want to point out, this is the easiest way of getting, I, I think it's the easiest way of getting uh, seller leads with name, email, and phone number. And there are definitely more ways to customize this. I'm not gonna drive all the way down there today. That's what our YouTube class is for. And that's what my live class is for. But this is the fastest, easiest way to do it. I see some let questions. Me, yeah. yeah, let me just say real quickly, I do a training on this as well every week. And marketing pending and sold listings on Facebook like this, yours and even borrowed. We actually have a training on how to, what do you do when you don't have a pending or sold listing? Because cost per lead, these are the cheapest and the best quality combination of seller leads that you're going to get. So highly recommend this. If you're a client or you sign up for a free trial, go to the mastermind group and search for uh, the one thing. So the number one, the word thing, search that and you'll get the training on this and you'll be generating listings consistently. And guys, just correct me if I'm wrong, but they could literally sign up right now <laughs> and within a couple of hours have this live running generating leads, right? <laughs> uh, in less you, could literally, you could literally sign up, generate leads and have leads coming in in 30 to 45 minutes with name, email, phone number. If you sign up for our AI text follow-up, you could be getting qualified leads coming in within an hour. Wow, that's impressive. That's yeah, the, the the AI text is pretty cool. It's it's um it's you know, I think one thing and this is kind of a, a diversion but converting leads and I was going to kind of speak to this in, in, right about now. Um converting leads, a lot of people think it's speed the lead, call those people. I get the lead, call them. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but ever since these super cool smartphones came out, People know who's calling them. And if it's if they don't know that number, they're not answering that call. And if you happen to be a realtor calling, they're going to be like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. And I know so many agents have experienced that and they feel like, you know, these, these Facebook leads are not that good. I want to show you this guy right here. Brian owns an office in, um, in Texas, I think in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And he's in here. He shared this with us. It's for his agents to learn like, hey, here's what you can do. And he's saying, hey, you know what? We we can run an ad on, on listings to leads on a sold property, which is what I was showing you, right? And he's pretty excited because he's saying this home in Conroe, Texas generated 114 buyer leads. So when the home was active, he's just running ads and he's generating 114 buyer leads. And he said four of those people purchased homes. So just to give you an idea, 
the cost of 114 buyer leads is around three to $350. I'm pretty sure the commission on four home purchases in Texas is greater than 350 bucks, right? And so he's like, yeah, we did that. That was great. It looked good. People were responding. So, so we flipped it to sold. We ran one ad um, and we got a lead for $4 and we texted that lead. And by the end of the day, we had a phone call uh, appointment at four o'clock and that turned into a listing appointment. And I, I think the thing that I would totally love everybody to understand is people respond to text a lot easier than taking your phone call if they've never heard of you. And you can ask those kind of lights, you know, don't give them a big novel in a text. You ask them a couple basic questions. What's your price point? What's your city? You know, back and forth until they're comfortable and they know like, okay, let's talk, right? That's what Brian's doing. He's actually got, you know, a system to do that. And that's what Scott is just mentioning, the, the new AI text follow-up. That's gonna help you a lot. If you're gonna be focused on capturing leads and you wanna convert leads into business, you want to test out our, our AI, our AI text follow-up. Um, and it's actually half off until early October, I think October 4th. So sign up for it now. You're it's, you're going to, I think you'll, you'll like it. I think too, something that, you know, is really exciting about this is that Facebook ads can get a little tricky, right? You have fair housing laws and many of you on this call may have experienced in the past where your account gets disabled or banned from advertising. This tool will help you avoid any of that and just help you execute these smoothly in a way where you're not wasting ad spend on an ad that's not run properly, right? It's all set up for you. It's generating high quality leads um, at a very low cost. So awesome opportunity. You're excited about it. Now, I, you, know, you know what's funny, Tom, is sometimes people want to customize and get like really fancy with things. And, and I always tell them, you know, try it for sure. But if it doesn't work out, go back to our default nine times out of 10, our default ads work better than when agents try to customize them. Yeah, practice uh, makes perfect. <laughs> now, guys, I, I can see a bunch of questions coming. Are you going to check those and let us know or should I stop and... Um, it's up to you. We have uh, one. We've Most of the questions I think have been answered. We do have one that's a little bit um, cost focused. Maybe we want to kind of address those at the end of the class. Up to you guys if you want to answer that one now uh, from Kim, just about the free trial and about what the, the price would be after that free trial. But up to you if you want to address that now or if we want to save yeah. that at the end of the class. You get a free trial for 30 days. Um, if you're using, you know, our QR code or you get to listings to leads uh, slash RE technology. Um, and you, after that, if you manage less than 10 listings, if you keep 10 listings in your account, it's $60 a month. So everything that you're seeing here, it's all comes for 60 bucks a month. You get unlimited landing pages, you get PDF guides for both buyers and sellers, you get awesome, um, you know, listing marketing, and you also are going to get a bunch of free social content and a lot of other tools. The AI uh, text follow-up, it's a, it's a higher, you know, it's a kind of an add-on. And Google is also an ad, and we're going to talk about Google in a minute. Um, but for 60 bucks a month, my Lord, you can do a whole heck of a lot with Less this. Less than a cup of coffee every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's get back to the system. And I wanted to um, kind of carry on on the, uh, on the concept of Facebook. What can you do to get listing leads? And as I've mentioned, there are 80 PDF guides. So if I click on PDF guide, I can um, have 40 of these teed up, right? And so that's gonna pull up. And these are things like uh, anything from how to negotiate, uh, mistakes to avoid, things like probate, even divorce and real estate, right? So there's lots of different topics here. If you go to the PDF guide tab over on the left, you can look at these, you can download them yourself and you'll realize like, wow, these are pretty, pretty good and, and they're all branded to me. And they're um, available in Spanish. That's right. Yeah, you can actually translate that here and the post and the text in those PDFs will be in Spanish. So here, you know, I'm going to do uh, five dangers um, overpricing. That's, I think, relevant in any market. And I just click create an ad. And all you have to do to make this happen, to, to create this ad, is type in, you know, the town that you are focused on, right? And I do want to kind of answer a little bit, which is probably going to pop up in some people's mind. And that's how do you target, right? 
And targeting has been kind of stripped away from Facebook as a result of a lawsuit by HUD. And this was years ago. So this is really just a geographic 15 mile radius. You don't know who's in there. You don't know their net worth. You don't even know if they own a home, but it still works. And our clients are still getting uh, leads from this right now. If you go watch my class on Facebook and Google ads, and you listen to what I'm saying about getting a custom audience, you can target really well. And, and uh, I think we'll show you that, uh, an example of that in the mastermind group in just a little bit. But it's very simple. I, if you've ever run an ad on Facebook, you know there's a lot more to click on to have a successful ad. Since all of our clients are real estate based, we know what needs to be checked. And we can tell by what you're clicking, what your goal is, and we check those boxes for you. So you just choose the asset that you want, make sure the location is right, and publish. It's that easy. Just as an FYI, these leads for PDF guides, they often cost $10 each. I showed you how to run a sold ad. Those are on average $7 each. Buyer leads are on average three. But PDF guides for, for homeowners are often... Um, 10, sorry. Now on landing pages, the number one landing page that all of our clients want to be running ads on are what is your home worth, right? And I have one here. I'm going to just show you Memphis. I, I've been, I like this one because I love the picture in the background, but you can create landing pages for every town that you're in, every city, all of your farm markets, even the neighborhoods, um, you know, maybe a development that you want to focus on. You can create a landing page for it. You do it right over here in the landing page section. And, and then whatever the photograph that you put in the background, it's going to show up on the ad here. And there are ways to kind of get custom here, but I'm, I'm not going to drive into that. Again, you're going to type in your area. I do want to point out that this can be really a successful way of, of operating. It can also, you could be wasting time and money here. It depends on where you are in the country. If you're in a high dense area, this could be overshooting your area. I live in, in the Bay Area, and there are towns around me that are 20,000 people. And if I have a 15 mile radius around a town that I'm targeting, I'm literally showing my ad to more than a million people that don't live in the town. Now, the workaround, I actually cover every time I do a Facebook and Google class. So watch that, learn about custom audiences, that's how you're gonna target. And I, I will say a little bit more about that, but let's, let's kind of get back um, and make sure we, we hit those top things. If we go to listings and we're on the uh, all, so I want to get back to sellers. If we are looking at listings that are sold or, or just listed or actually any stage, we create a lot of tools. I'm going to kind of, let, let's just see if I can find one here. Here's one that's sold. I'm going to click market listing. And these are all the things we're doing. And it doesn't matter. You know, I, I kind of want to speak a little bit to what differentiates listings to leads to I think every other company. It doesn't matter if you're with the largest franchises in the country, the largest brokerage in the country, or you're using one of our top competitors. Everybody is creating automated tools that have your branding, your logo, your picture, and they're boom, they're just going out. What they are not including are call to actions. And so if you have flyers, if you have postcards, if you have all these things that you're looking at on this list, that's great. But are you capturing leads with it? And the answer is usually no. And even from our biggest competitors, the answer is no, right? And so here, I want to point out not the tool that generates the most listing leads, but the one that generates the highest quality listing leads. And it's called the nearby homeowner letter, okay? And so if you have a listing, and I'm going to give you, an, I'm going to show you an example uh, in our mastermind group. We have many examples for this particular tool because our clients want listings and this is where they go. It's a simple piece of paper right? There's no artificial intelligence or whatever internet involved, no social media. This is a piece of paper that says, I just sold a home, go check it out. We created that page. They can go check it out. It also says that's going to affect your home value. And that's a key to all of our marketing. If you have an open house, we're going to say that's going to affect your home value. If you just listed, that's going to affect your home value. But in here, we just sold it. That's going to affect your home value. We've got some data points of the local market here. Go here, to get your free home value. So this is a landing page that everybody has automatically in their account, right? You might wanna change the picture, make sure it looks like your neighborhoods, but 
agents have seen those pages and been running ads on Facebook and having some luck or, or, or no luck. But if you are mailing this to people with equity around your current home, this is the way that agents get more listings. They leverage their listings to get more listings. And we have known that this tool has been one of our, our best tools for many years. So about two years ago, I think, we uh, aligned with a company called Express Copy. And if you connect there, you'll have this green button. And Express Copy is a national printer with a national database of all homeowners with equity. So if I click get mail list and I say, I want a one, mail, a one mile radius or maybe two, a hundred pieces of mail, submit order. They are gonna download that letter. They're gonna fold it. They're gonna stuff it in envelopes and mail it to people who own single family homes for more than six years. Okay, that is exactly what you want to do with a letter like that, right? And we know that because our clients keep coming back and forth in the mastermind group and saying, this is what I'm doing. So this was last fall. And this lady, Pat, has been a client of ours, I think for what, Scott, 12 years or I think she was- Wow, over, over six, I know. Okay, yeah, she's over been a long- wow. She knew John uh, Cheplak, I remember. Uh, but anyway, she- has been in the mastermind group for years saying, hey, I, I, got a, a con I got a listing in a condo. I mail this out just listed. I sell it, I mail it out when it's sold. And she, I've got my third listing in one condo. She's in Louisiana, right? And, but she prints out a batch of a hundred every time she has something just listed and every time she has something just sold. And she does something that none of our clients have ever done. She prints on the back with Microsoft Publisher and then she hand folds these things and hand writes them. And that little red stamp was done by publisher, but it looks so local, right? And why would she do that? Well, she actually bought a list from Remind.com of everybody with equity. And she had four people calling her on the first hundred. And if you look at the notes, you're gonna realize she had another four people calling on this batch, the second hundred. That's one home and 200 pieces of mail generating eight really great seller leads, listing leads. You can generate more listing leads on a Facebook ad, but the quality is totally different, right? Nothing wrong with them. I, I just showed you an example. We have clients converting those, those uh, seller leads on Facebook all the time. Um, I do wanna show you another thing on it that you should be doing. And this is, I, I think that the letter is great. Hey, Vince, but, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Go ahead and click on the very top sold listing real quickly. Where it says, yep, there you go. And I just want to mention to everybody that everything, and then go ahead and yeah, just click on something. Doesn't yeah. matter. That's fine. So everything Vince has mentioned, um, whether it is a just sold a, a listing, a active listing open house, or the what is your home worth landing page, all of those have tools, not just for a Facebook ad and social media post, but in fact, uh, Vince, click on the data eFlyer for database. Yeah. Uh, so we got tools for your database that are specifically designed to convert homeowners and home buyers. We got scripts. So right below that email, Vince, go ahead and click on where it says the script right below there. Uh, that's short form video script, but there's also a database call script because here's the deal. It is awesome to generate leads. It is awesome to have AI text follow-up, having your follow-up plans. We do integrate with pretty much every CRM. But if you're not going to call your leads with an appropriate script, and if you're not going to email them, you know, it's almost kind of, I don't want to say it's worthless to generate leads, but I want to make the point is we really help you go after social media, your database, your farm. We got the scripts, we got the emails, we got the postcards. Everything is there for you to start using. I think I'd like to reinforce that too quickly is that, you know, guys, how you market your listings brands you as an agent. And when you're doing it correctly, you should be generating more listings from your current listings. And that's what this system is all about. And I think statistically, when agents are using this, they're generating two and a half listings just about from every single listing that they have. Is that correct, guys? We yeah, have clients are really that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really exciting stuff. And I'm I'm just going to show you this since we're we're looking here. This is a social media post and, you know, I, I'm friends with thousands of agents. I've seen all the colorful things that agents can share on the internet, right? It's, I think everybody has learned the copy and paste function. What they don't know, however, is how to capture a lead. And what we're looking at here is an automated post from our platform. And we're going to push it right out 
to all of your social media accounts. So if I click on LinkedIn here, that will take me to the actual post. And I wanna show you really the difference in, in, a, in a very strong point of listings to leads is we're not just automatically putting stuff out there. I remember that realtor.com used to do this and I think they stopped doing it. But if, they, if somebody clicks on that, we drive them to a single property website or a listing landing page that's gonna show the property, the real information. And at some point, if you look at our single property website, there are multiple call to actions here. They can download the PDF guides I've been mentioning. They can find out what their home is worth. They can get the, our marketing plan. And then at some point, a page like this is going to pop up and offer them a free home value, right? That's because this is a later stage home. That's all automatically happening simply because when you signed up, you connected your social media and you got your listings flowing in. And as the statuses change, we repost them. And so that's just kind of a small little aspect of what we're doing when it comes to just overall marketing. It's that we put multiple call to actions in there to get people. You know, the, the, the thing is, is when you look at our tools for marketing a listing, you will always see what is your home worth? Why would we do that if I have an open house? Because we're applying common sense that you all know. There are plenty of people looking at homes for sale that actually want that own a home and they want to sell and they want to find out what's going on. Right. And so they're researching the market. They come across your tools and we can help ferret out. Are they a, um, you know, are they a, 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 a listing lead? Right. Yeah. So here we're on the landing page section. There are multiple landing pages. You can create other landing pages because you can do unlimited ones. But let's just focus on that first one, which is free home values. And just like Scott was saying, you're going to always have print tools like postcards and door hangers. You're always going to have, um, uh, social media post, you're going to be able to run ads and you're going to have e-flyers. So I really want everybody to think of that. And that's, you know, kind of gets to our, I'm going to go say, point us out. When we go to the YouTube channel and you watch our Facebook on Google Class and you watch uh, Top Tools for More Listings, I'll be talking about buying a custom audience from other parties, third parties, right? Remind, Red X, ListSource.com. Get a list of people with equity because now what you have in listings to leads is a number of tools that you can mail, email, and run ads to. And all if you haven't figured it out yet, all of these tools capture leads. So if you're buying a list of people in your favorite town that you want to dominate and you know they have five years plus equity, those are the people to market to. And with this platform, you've got multiple ways of hitting that, that list in print and email and with, with Facebook ads. Yeah, buying a list like that, you know, my plus leads is another great source as well. And, you know, buying a list of a couple of thousand homeowners in your area is is, is an investment because you can definitely target them uh, through listings to leads and other programs. So definitely want to check yeah. them into training. And I actually talk about that as well in the uh, Geofarm Mastery. So yeah. guys, we did have a couple of questions and we can just pause for a quick second. We had sure. um, one from Lori. She's asking, you know, how many other firms are doing what you're doing and and what I would say is that there's not very many that are doing everything that you're talking about. And most of the ones yeah. that are doing some of this, they're taking an exorbitant amount of that commission check, right? Up to 40% of an agent's commission when yeah. they generate leads. And, and you guys are not doing that. Yeah. No. And so there's, also, there's a lot of companies that do a little piece of this, but there's nobody, I don't think, that does all of this. I mean, mm -hmm. we get KV core clients coming to us, lofty clients coming to us. I mean, Sierra Interactive has actually uh you know, sent people our way, Boomtown sends people our way. So, you know, all these larger platforms, they literally tell their clients to use listings to leads to generate leads to send into their platforms. So we integrate with all the CRMs. We've got a great follow-up plan in listings to leads if you need it. Um, but yeah, there's really nobody that does what we do. The other great yeah, thing is like entirety. But the other great thing I like here is that it's it, you can turn it up and down. <laughs> a lot of these other ones lock you into a set amount of ad spend every single month. With this, if I've got budget to do a little bit of advertising or a lot, I'm busy or I'm not busy, I can turn this up and down almost like the, the knob yeah. on the radio, right? So it's totally under the agent's control. Um, the other thing, another question that we got with uh, from Sean is that he's moving to a new area with uh, no sphere of influence. Would this product help him be successful there? And that is a great question because absolutely, <laughs> it's going to help you build your list extremely quickly, right? And uh, cost effectively. Well, yeah. we got a great we got a great answer for you. Yeah, I'm going to show you this guy. So this guy, Chris, 
um, is in the mastermind group. He's a long-term client. He, we learned about him with this video. He said, Hey, everybody, I got five listings in three months using the nearby homeowner letter, right? Which we're like, who is this guy? Right. And he says, I do these videos and I, I use your nearby homeowner letter. and, and his story, because we've obviously had some discussions with him. He just moved to San Antonio, Texas. That was in the summer of COVID that, that first spring of COVID. Okay. And they moved there because he's got a wife and kids and the wife's family is in San Antonio. And we're like, wow, that's awesome. How did you do that? And he said, well, I bought a list from Remind, a people with more than five years equity. And I mailed that letter every other week to those people. He had joined a Keller Williams office and was just borrowing listings in his neighborhood because he bought a home in a really nice neighborhood and he wants to own it. So he mails this out every other uh, every other week, one ho one letter or one one home or another. But I think really the key is right here. Once they opt in on the home valuation page, I hit them up every week with phone calls, bomb bomb, letters via mail, and letters left at the door. Letters left at the door were our PDF guides, and that guy moves to San Antonio in the first spring of what twenty uh, twenty. He becomes a top listing agent in that office and then goes out and starts his own office. <laughs> and the very first thing he does is creates a YouTube channel and say, hey, join me. I can teach you how to customize listings to leads to grow your business. So I would go check out Chris on YouTube because he's probably, he, he's clearly a smart guy. He was from out of town to starting his own office in San Antonio, Texas. And hopefully that will help you. And I'm going to tell you another story, which I know uh, Tom is um, uh, familiar with uh, because he interviewed him and Scott and I are, are very familiar with, and that's Dustin. So I set up the team and office accounts around the country and, you know, in Canada and the Caribbean. And when I set up their, uh, this office for where Dustin works, it's Pearson Smith, just south of DC. They had 300 agents and it was like seven years ago. They've grown to a thousand agents. And when we first learned about Dustin, it was because of the nearby homeowner letter. In 2018, he says, hey, our, our best ROI is mailing this letter. He mailed it out with a little uh, you know, card with him and his wife, first class of 250 homes. He even canvassed, made a little uh, uh, you know, Zillow review. And he says, yeah, we got 10 listings with an average Dude, commission of 17,000. Can I just say how ironic or funny this is? That post... When Dustin made that post, he was a single agent. Yeah. His wife may have just started working with him, but he was just a single agent, you know, getting some deals here and there. And then one post up, yeah, he has now got a bestseller book. Yeah, uh, that is that is amazing. Oh, yeah. But Vince, because because listening to leads was one of his main tool sets. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I know. Tom, you've done an interview and hopefully everybody gets. Yeah. Chance. Yeah. You guys might've actually seen that on RE technology. It was a great interview. And, you know, Dustin specifically, I think he's got, you know, on track to do 200 million this year, something like that. He's, uh, you know, huge yeah. team. He's grown uh, aggressively. And this has been kind of the foundational tool that's created that success and really been sort of a, a no brainer when it came to, uh, you know, the costs there. So they've had some great success. It was so exciting to hear from them firsthand how they've used this tool and now be able to share it with, you know, the rest of our audience directly. So yeah, really from, about it. from 2018 have... to 2024 and still using this tool strong to help grow from yeah. a single agent to over 20 agents now on his team. Yeah, and for the uh, the larger brokerage, they've got a, a thousand agents, <laughs> and every single one of them is using it, right? So it's it's oh. really impressive. Um, but we did have a couple of other quick questions for you guys. Someone had asked, "Can I link my cash offer platform to my pages as well?" Yes, yes, okay. There are there are ways to customize that, um, and a lot of our clients will create a custom landing page, right? That speaks. And so if I go here to the landing page section, and you probably want to create a just click the green button at the top and create a page that's going to be a custom seller landing page. Looks like my, my computer is, is about to fall apart. Um, but just create a custom seller landing page, put in the name of the town that you want to do. You'll be kind of prompted to put in bullet points. You can snap in video. You can change the background picture. And then at that point, just like all of our other tools, you can run ads on it and drive people to it on Facebook or on Google 
or yeah. within. Hey Vince, hey Vince, do me a favor and bring up the single property website real quick. Sure. I want to answer that question a little bit different. If you've got a cash offer program, do they have a, can you ask the person if they have a landing page or like what kind of marketing materials do they get with that program? And the reason why I'm asking is you can customize the single property websites. So yeah, go ahead and click on that and then just scroll down to where you see the, um, what is your home worth on the single property website? Go ahead and click on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's uh, open that up. Awesome. And so you can see the single property websites can have full screen video, uh, 3D tours, right? Any kind of media. And so you could actually add a custom section in here if you scroll down, Vince, where you have a cash offer like banner. So look at that. Uh, what is your home worth uh, right there? So that you could take that out, for example, and maybe it's a cash offer uh, widget, or it could just be a cash offer graphic that goes to your cash offer landing page if you got one. So anyways, if you got the, the main point here is if you got great little programs like that, and lenders will do this as well, and they'll add a custom section promoting their other offer so that it automatically shows up in every single single property website. So when buyers and sellers and homeowners are looking at your marketing they're going to see these other custom offers that you may have. And this is a kind of a, an interesting part of our system. We have something called lead links and you can see these are like driving to the property search pages of an agent, but you might have a landing page with that offer already built out and you can connect mm -hmm. it and just tap, you know, and now I'm looking right here at your story. Right. And, you know, that's a compelling little video there. I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> so, money out the window. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I want to I, I want to make sure we tackle one more thing that everybody needs to understand. And, and if you're thinking about listings, you know, running ads on Facebook is going to be super important. Mailing to people with equity is super important. And if you got leads in your database, giving them RE flyers with call to actions is going to be very helpful because I don't know what CRM you're using. I know that a lot of them have drip campaigns and I know they are stale the minute you turn them on. They're not really making your phone ring. They're barely getting anybody to communicate with you. And that's really what a drip campaign should do. We mentioned very lightly that we have follow-ups, which is a drip campaign. We have a lot of uh, evidence and feedback of closing appointments already uh, with just those simple drip campaigns and what we also mentioned, and it's somewhere, I think, on the leads tab, um, we have text follow-up, which is like really asking more poignant questions and basically teeing it up to they need a phone call. And if you're using our system to capture leads, you want to do that. There's one big major thing that I have not mentioned, and that's the number one website in the country, which is Google. And a lot of agents have no idea of what to do with Google. And it's understandable. I've actually run ads on Google and it's hideous. It's so far, can, I, can yeah. I just interrupt you for one second? Cause we had a couple of questions before we dive into this. And I'm sure. so excited to talk about Google cause it is the highest intent based leads that yeah. you can get. But we've got a couple of really quick questions. So uh, Jeremiah was asking uh, for a follow-up. So if an agent uses a another agent's listing from their office, let's say to generate yeah. leads, newer agent doesn't have listings or any agent right now, there's no inventory. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the pro the product scrapes the MLS data from their MLS profile, but how does it take it from another agent and then brand it to that agent? Well, you when you sign up as an agent, you all of your branding is in here, your picture, your logo, all that. And when you pull in, a, you go to listing. We're on the listings page. You click add listing, and there's an option for grab. You type in the zip code and the MLS ID. It will pull that listing in. And, and real quickly, uh, Vince, you can uh, mention there's a checkbox to mark it if it's not your listing. So that yeah. way, all the proper language will be associated with that, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh right. my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and the, we just got the feedback in the chat. Perfection from Termite. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we make it other... really easy. We think, we think through all of this stuff <laughs> so that you don't have to, but awesome question because you're thinking down the right path. So Perfect. Yeah. We've got and one I, other quick question too, if you guys have a second. So um, someone asked, what is the pricing like on mail? Do you guys do that directly, the the mail? And what is it, it, It's a pass-through. It, it's just the whatever express copy is charging. It's like 185 maybe events, right? For 100 postcards. For 100 pieces, yeah. Average. A yeah, lot of people- We're not marking it up. 
a lot a lot of people also use um every door direct and we have if you're looking at our postcards we have we're formatted for them as well i don't know if they have the kind of targeting that express copy has but you can a lot of our clients just use their own printers they're, they they know what they're doing they download it here and they send it off so yeah. if i'm an agent i'm using let's say like mailbox power or something do you integrate with other companies like that or like you said you can always download it and just send it directly to that that's how it yeah you download it you send it to them they print it they, they right. yeah all right guys awesome thanks uh-huh so you know when we when we talk about facebook and you know here's why it's so awesome you know it's not awesome for teenagers they're on snapchat or wherever they are tiktok now but for adults they spend 40 minutes a day scrolling through facebook looking at what's in that feed of where their grandkids were what their friends did over the weekend you know here's my old high school you know friend and stuff and your ad's gonna be right here okay and if it's an open house or what is your home worth and it's relevant to me at that time great i'm gonna click on it you're gonna capture my lead but what people don't do is they don't go there and say hey you know how do i sell my home what does it cost to sell a home that question 86 percent of the time in the united states is asked on this page so how do you compete there if you log into google and run an ad Good luck. it's a horrible experience <laughs> good luck it is a whole i've done it it's really a nightmare i'm going to show you a little bit of of what it what it entails and i'm going to show you the easy way use our software create your landing page for whatever it could be for any kind of concept that you have but let's focus on we're talking about getting listing leads so let's do one for livermore livermore is over here close to me and create an ad right and so this again we have google software here and i'm going to show you how easy it is you just type in the name of the city you're after right and you click you click publish and it's that's going to be an ad on google so why why does that show up right let's this is the i think the the, the mobile view that's the the desktop view i want to teach you a little about what we have here it's a seven day ad for fifty dollars a day you remember when i was giving you the cost per lead of um of facebook leads on google they're way more expensive in Dallas, Texas, if you run an ad like this with what is your Dallas home worth and you type in Dallas, these leads will be $30 each for each lead. In Pennsylvania, $22 each in Utah, 17. And I've even heard 10. I've also heard that they're 200 to $300 each in Vancouver, Canada for each lead, right? They have a lot of cash buyers coming in ready to buy. So these big teams are, are competing so hard on Google that if you're a new agent, you just don't compete. You build your business on Facebook until you can compete on Google. Yeah. That, all that being said, they're more expensive, but like Tom said earlier, these have higher intent. People went to Google with a question about real estate and because of the keywords you put in or your text, it, it, this is called a headline up here, your ad is becoming relevant and popping up. If you try to do this by yourself in Google, you would be looking at an uglier interface than what I'm showing you here, but you have to have in all the keywords. We know the keywords. So we refresh these every quarter to make sure that these are what people are using and typing in on Google. We also, if you create an ad on Google and you by all means should, whether it's with us or just you know on your own, you need to write multiple headlines. These here are the headlines. And you write multiple ones because Google's gonna rotate them whenever people see it until they triangulate on what's doing the best to get you more leads. And this section here that I'm highlighting, that's called the description. And yeah, you need to write multiple descriptions. So if you're comfortable writing all that and clicking all the right buttons, you don't need to use our Google software. But if you just want to use any of those PDF guides or any landing page that you create and click a couple buttons and make it work successfully, that's the way to go. That's how you hey, Vince, can... Vince, real quickly, can you click on it where it says view link so people can see? So if somebody clicked on that Google ad, this is where they would land. So this page, completely customizable. Uh, like I said, you can put video in the background. The lead form can be on the right side with the small video to the left. There's just a lot of things you can do here. So mm -hmm. yeah, like Vince said, we we write all the headlines. We write all the descriptions. 
for those of you that are experienced with doing Google, we get great feedback from even experienced users. All of those can be customized. So if you wanted to edit them a little bit, could you got your own uh, headlines and descriptions that you use? Still using our platform would be a lot easier than going into Google for sure. Yeah, yeah. and guys, I really want to reinforce this point is that these are really like the gold standard of online leads, right? You know, social media is great. They are less expensive. You get a high volume of leads, but they didn't necessarily ask to see that information. And with Google, they took time out of their day. They specifically went there and they asked questions like, how do I sell my home quick for cash? <laughs> What's yeah. my home worth, right? You see the difference here? So the Google ads are much higher converting. They are more expensive, but again, they carry a lot more bang for your buck. Um, and so we've seen agents in the past who, you know, they go, they try to run these ads on their own and they're not targeting correctly. They're not using the keywords. They're investing a huge amount of money and they're not seeing a return. And so this system automates that for you, streams, streamlines it, no matter what level of expertise you have, you're able to run these ads effectively and at the cost that you choose. Again, you're not locked into a thousand bucks a month of ad spend. You can decide how aggressive you want to be here. It's really important to understand that. Yeah. I want to show you, everybody, this is a free part of the system, just completely free. You're, if you're a client, I definitely recommend that you take advantage of this. If you come to the social content page, you're going to be presented with connect your social media accounts. And then once you connect them and you can connect, you can have multiple, you might have multiple pages on Facebook. You might have, you know, Instagram. I definitely, if you're using Facebook or Instagram and especially Google plus or the Google business page, connect that. Because then we ask you, how often do you want us to post? Every day, one day a week. And then we have, I think, about 50 topics that you can do. What I want to point out is you remember how I, we've been mentioning that we have these PDF guides for sellers and for buyers, and there are 80. If you want to share them one by one throughout the year, great. If you want us to do it automatically throughout the year, just select them right here. We've also got some really nice home design sections. And if you find that, that interview with Dustin, He's actually uh, is saying his Google business page has moved from number four to number one in just a few months because the content that we're pushing there automatically that he set once and forgot is just increasing the SEO. So if you want the SEO on your Google business page to increase, this is a really easy way to do it. We've also got clients, all you know, obviously all over the country. And I've had feedback from people in, in Miami are saying my Instagram is growing in just months because people like the content and they follow me. And so this is just an easy set and forget area. Don't don't ignore this. It's Vincent, it's did you say that this actually posts to the Google business page? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. That is so exciting. Folks, if you don't have a Google business page, you need to have one. You are a business. Oh, yeah. yeah. For SEO. Yeah, got to be up to date and accurate and consistent. And that is just incredible value on its own. I, I didn't know you guys did that. That's awesome. Yeah. So again, everybody, hey, do, you, do you want to go to that section real quickly um, for the uh, email blast? Yeah. And I, I just want to be super quick because I know we're coming up on the hour, but we release timely content based on what's happening around the world, around the country and how it can impact home buying and home selling. And so if you see, uh, don't click on events, but you see where, uh, in fact, go ahead and click on all email blast in the bottom there. And then click on the one that is um, draft and the, the first bookmarked uh, rates lowered. Yeah. So this is content that we just put in everybody's account. So if you're a client of ours and you're on this call, this email is now in your account. And the idea is for you to send this to your database uh, to, to your seller leads in your database, to homeowner leads in your database, because this will help get more of them to think about selling. And we're doing training every week on this as well. So make sure you pay attention to our training uh, because we are doing kind of these weekly, bi-weekly uh, time-sensitive call to actions that are going to really help get people that are thinking about selling, thinking about buying, move quicker than just what normally they may be thinking about doing. So make sure to check out our training in the mastermind group and uh, get on that with us. 
Yeah, awesome, guys. There's a couple of other quick questions here. Uh, someone had asked, you know, you integrate with all these different CRMs. What's the best CRM? And that, that's a huge question, Sean. Great question. There are so many op options. If you go to, to the uh, CRM category on RE Technology in our directory, you can access a whole bunch of options, learn all about them. Uh, whatever CRM you use tends to be the best one, right? As long as you're using it and you know how to work it and it works for you. <laughs> Very important. Uh, but someone else asked for uh, for Vincent Scott, what's the conversion rate like on the leads, right? And so I don't know if you have a, a specific number for those or what that, because they do vary between social media ads, Google ads, one is much higher than the other. Um, and it also varies on how aggressively the agent is working the follow-up and if they're instituting all these pieces that you guys, you know, you offer. So can you talk a little bit about that? I, I think that the overall industry is like 1% conversion. If you if you were watching the video with Brian Matthews and he's he's converting at three and four percent, and because I don't talk to every agent who's a client, I do talk to a lot of the teams though, and I know I think teams are a little more focused on converting a lead. An agent may or may not call a lead, right? They that might be that that knocks out a good percentage, but I I've seen I've had we've had Remax teams converting five percent of our Facebook leads, and I have people you know, giving me the, those kinds of numbers as well. So it really depends a lot on what you're doing to convert. And I, and just to be repetitive, our follow-ups is, is a great, the drip campaigns for buyer and seller leads have been really effective. The new AI text follow-up, that's going to help you do the touch points. I think, I think, you know, the, the you know, the, the average dollars is you got to touch a lead 15 times. Doesn't mean you got to call them 15 times, but you got to get in front of them with maybe a Facebook ad or a text or something like that until they're ready to talk to you yeah. using a good follow-up system. And by the way, in our seller and buyer leads, you can just turn these on. You, I mean, you click a button and they're on. What you're going to notice is we're in, we're embedding all of our landing pages on on almost every other one and maybe one of our PDF guides. So these drip campaigns offer value that are going to help home buyers and home owners. And that's a big part of it, right? Yeah. I think you really hit the nail on the head there, right? Like industry average for social media is typically one up to maybe 3% if you're lucky, right? Yeah. Whereas the Google tends to be, you know, three to maybe six if you're really lucky, you know, if yeah. you're pushing hard. And, and you've demonstrated how some of your clients, you know, they're generating seller leads, they're buying a list that shows who has equity and then targeting them in a way that creates surround sound where they're able to really push those limits and see those yeah. better conversions. So uh, awesome, awesome opportunity there. Um, another question we had was, what's the onboarding process like? To my knowledge, it's pretty quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that. When you are, um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, when you sign up, well, let, let just, let's just go to our homepage real quick. When you sign up, it's going to say, you know, right. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's not the one that we want to use. You want to make sure you go to listingsleads.com forward slash RE technology. You get a 30 day free trial. And it's going to ask your name and your email, and it's going to ask, um, uh, choose your package, which you need a package for 60 bucks a month for 10 listings. And then once you put your credit card in, and by the way, there's no annual contract here. Everything is month to month. You can cancel in 25 days. You might say, this is way too much for me. This is not what I want. You can cancel, you'll not be charged. But once you put your credit card in and say, go, you drop on our website, and there will be a wizard saying, okay, let's get your picture. Let's get your logo. Let's get your colors. Let's get your, uh, connect your social media accounts just right there. And then the next is connect your Facebook ad account, connect. You don't have to start you know, with, with doing Google, but you can do Google as soon as you're ready. And then it says, what's your MLS email? Let's get listings in. And if you don't have a listing, it's going to say, do you want to grab a listing? Do you want to borrow listings? Right? So, you know, in a five minute setup wizard, the whole thing is set up and where you want to really focus is to then you'll be dropped right on this page. And then your question, like we started this call, do I need sellers or do I need buyers? Because everything that's in here is teed up on this page. Now, Scott and I are working right now uh, as fast as we can to get you some flyers right here that are going to help you with just some new agent. If you're a new agent, what do you do? If I have an open house, what do I do? These are checklists, kind of cheat sheets right here that will help you just answer those, those basic questions. So we're, we're gonna tighten that up a little bit as well. 
But if you need buyer leads or if you need seller leads, come to the dashboard and all these tools are designed for you. One thing I want to point out that I forgot to mention, um, if you go inside the mastermind group and, and, and check it out, you're going to see that this one lady was created a custom audience, gets a listing in a buyer, and she just shares with everybody how she did it. Um, she also says that I use, she, she tells all the assets that she brings into a listing presentation. And one of those is our listing presentation that is available to all of you. And I can tell you, this thing is almost bulletproof. Um, it's 27 pages long. It talks about everything that listings to leads does. It doesn't say that listings to leads is doing it. And it doesn't say that we're doing it for you automatically. It's just saying we market like this. We go there. It just, it's so in depth. I highly recommend that if you sign up, that you download this and you print it because it's going to just be an eye opener for you. We have not been able to talk about everything that we do here today. So that's, that was, I'm glad you were able to fit that in. Cause that, from what I've heard from your clients directly is that that is one of the things that have really changed their business. Having that, that listing toolkit, that sort of checklist of how they're going to market a listing. And someone asked a great question in the chat. What is a typical successful budget for a single agent? I want to point out Gordon that, you know, just signing up for the 60 bucks a month, right. Or even that free trial, get in here. You have access to all of this great content and that alone has tremendous value for your business and access to that mastermind group and these resources that alone has tremendous value and can generate business for you. But when it comes to, to ad spend, again, uh, your ad spend budget should be set by, by kind of where you are in your career and what your goals are, right? And so if you're looking to grow aggressively, your team, your uh, brokerage, that ad spend is going to be in the thousands, right? If you're uh, an agent that could still be in the thousands, Depends how aggressive you want to be and how expensive your area that you're targeting is, right? So it does vary. But the beautiful thing about this platform is that you have complete control. You're not obligated to spend $1,000 a month. You could start with 100 if that's what your budget allows. But you could start with 200 300 whatever it may be. And you have the ability to turn that up and down. And I think that's a, a huge kind of uh, difference from all of these other lead gen companies that say, we'll give you 10 to 20 leads a month for $1,000 <laughs> or 2000 yeah. Yeah, no, that model is kind of crazy. I know we're running out of time. I'm, if we can, I'm going to show you something. And I want to answer that question a little bit differently. Yeah. Um, the, the thing about running Facebook ads is, yes, it captures leads, but there's also something that it does that, if, especially if you're a new agent, is really critical. And that is that it creates branding. It builds your brand, I think, better than almost any other way of spending money. Um, and so this is an account. This is the team account. They've been a client for well over a year. They run hundred dollar ads every day of the week and they have a huge budget, right? But they have an expansion team in both North and South Carolina. So this is not a single agent. And I want to answer to you what I tell single agents to do, especially if they're, they're brand new. Uh, but I want to point out that they've spent $70,000 in over, uh, with over 750 ads. Their business pages in North and South Carolina have been seen for almost four and a half million times. This is fantastic for anybody's branding because if you're a new agent or been in it a couple of years, the only people who know you're an agent are your friends and family. If you want thousands of people to know that you're a realtor, if you want to run ad, yes, you're going to capture eight leads or 12 leads or 43 leads, right? But it's also going to be seen by thousands of people and that's awesome for your brand. When I talk to brand new agents, I usually tell them at least have $200 a month, $450 ads one week long, right? And that, depending if you're trying to get buyers or sellers, your business page will be seen five to 15,000 times every month for $200. You'll capture maybe 50 to 100 leads, depending on what kind of leads you're after. Those are actionable, right? And you build your brand. I mean, we've been doing this a long time and we have so many stories to tell you. I can remember, Scott, you know Shannon Pyatt. Um, I don't remember where he's from, but he was like, I'm running five ads a week and now people are just calling me because, uh, because they're on Facebook and they're like, we know you're the realtor because we see you every time we log in on Facebook. That's true advertising. A lot of what we've been talking about today is legion and because we're awesome at it. But building a brand and letting people know that you are that person Facebook is an awesome place. If you're using our e-flyers and you're hitting those markets, that's a great way. And of course, print.
So, but I, I often, but just to finish the answer, I tell completely green agents or, or people with not a large, large budget, 200 a month on Facebook, don't even think about Google. If you're managing two to five listings, your budget's easily going to be three to four, five, six hundred dollars a month because you're doing open house ads, just listed, just sold ads. And you're, you know, you're probably running a few every week. You, you've got a lot more eye views, right? You got a lot more brand uh, impressions on Facebook and you're capturing a lot more leads. But if you're managing, you know, three to five listings, you also have more of a steady income. Okay, we had another quick question here. Someone asked him, how long do we have uh, to make a decision to get the 30 day discount? Guys, go sign up. It's free. <laughs> 30 <laughs> days free. That means you, there is, it's risk free. Go sign up. There's, there's no decision to make. You go, you try it. You can turn it on, start generating leads today. And if you love it and you see how successful it is, then you keep it. You know, they, they know that this works. We've seen it work. And so we're so excited to let you try it at no risk, really. So, you know, if, if, if you're struggling about making that decision, there's no better way than to go and actually try it, play with it, experience it. Again, it's risk-free, 30 days free. Try it. We'll throw that QR code. I see a bunch of you asking for it. We do have the link in the chat there. We'll put that up in just a second. I'll drop that link for you. But uh, Vince, keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> no, no. I mean, that's a good point. Um, I, I will say this too, like, we have an awesome support team. And a, a lot of our clients say this. They just say, wow, your, your team is great. They work, you know, you know, throughout the week. And if you're new to us and you have a question, make sure that you go to the support page, ask them and say, hey, I just signed up from RE Technology and I really, I'm stuck. And I, we'll tell our support team, you know, let us know, right? Let us know when that happens and we'll keep a, a close eye on you. Um, because we want to see, you know, success from, you know, this partnership, this campaign, working with RE Technology. We're excited about it. And we definitely want to see all of you have the same kind of success our, our, ba our best clients have. So, you know, don't, don't be uh, intimidated by it. I, you can do a lot. Like we were saying earlier, you could literally be generating leads in 30 minutes, not 30 days. Anything else? Any other questions? Um, do you would you mind putting up the QR code if you if you're ready to do that? Just so that if anybody still here wants to go and access that um, that free thirty days, it's really easy. They can go and scan it, and they will be good to go. Got it right there. Perfect. Um, someone said, if you decide to cancel after thirty days, do you keep the tools that you were given, or are they gone? That's a great question. They are gone. Yeah. So you wouldn't have access to like the listing presentation, that kind of stuff, and. Well, you actually you download that, right? Yeah, so you that, have some of that. That is yours. You wouldn't, right? you wouldn't, you wouldn't want it because nothing in the listing presentation you would be actually doing because those are all our tools. So you could, but yeah. So that's I mean, a great point, guys. Right? The, the goal is not to, you know, let's do it for thirty days and just give it up. We know it works. We've seen it work. If you're struggling, if you don't have listings, you don't have leads coming in right now. This is a great opportunity to try something new, try something that we've seen work, um, you know, give it, give it your best go. And if it's working for you, great, keep it, you know, it, it, let it work for your business. And like Scott said, yes, you'll have a lot of resources that you can download out of this, but you'll be responsible for doing all of those on your own. Right. And the reality is you guys are busy. <laughs> And, you know, this is sometimes the last thing on your list, right? And so, you know, being able to automate it, streamline it, work smarter, not harder, really be that sort of logistical agent where you're able to, to actually work your leads and scale your business because you've got effective tools and systems. This is really a no brainer for the cost. And, and we're so excited to let you try it, you know, again, risk-free and um, again, go into it with that mindset that I'm going to use this to change my business and really start to generate uh, some inbound leads. And I know you'll have great success with it. And so you know, if you don't keep it, they're not going to keep doing all that work for you, <laughs> but you certainly can keep some of those things that you've downloaded out of there. So either way, great value. If I can, I want to say one more thing. This guy we mentioned earlier, Dustin Fox, um, we did a call with him years ago af after this post here because he's been in our mastermind group a lot talking and and we and we wanted to get his feedback to share with other agents and he said i totally want to do this because i went i, I grew my business 300 percent in two years using your stuff and and he said and 80 percent of my business and this was years ago 80 percent of my business is coming from your tools and i was shocked because 
we hadn't really talked about that prior to the call. And I was like, Dustin, how much time does it take for you to, to, um, to do that, to get 80% of your business from, you know, from us. And he said two hours a week. He said, I put my daughter in ballet and I go next door to Starbucks and I work in your system for two hours and it does everything I need to do. Mm -hmm. And that guy that you see right there was a rookie when he started working with us. He now has a team of 24 and he's the top team in an office of a thousand agents. I think you should um, sign up for our trial yeah, and start using, <laughs> start using our system and learn because you, a lot of automation that is going to happen immediately is going to just start working for you. You'll realize like, hey, I can run an ad in just a couple clicks here and you're going to get results from that ad. So, so guys, we got a couple of other quick questions. So I had one, uh, let's see here. Uh, let it go. Um, oh, do you have eBooks for probates, divorces, uh, NODs and trustee sales? I think the answer I know is- I know we got three of the four for sure. I'm not sure I can remember them. NODs. I'm not sure, but I know we got three of them. Okay. Probate, divorce, yeah. it's all PDF guides and you can okay. email them out. You can run ads on them on Facebook or Google or, or you can print things and, and get them out. So another question from Maria was, do we get any leafs to start with the $60 a month? She hasn't a QR code yet. So Maria, maybe you can uh, kind of elaborate on what you mean, but you do get a whole bunch of different educational content and pamphlets and things that you know go along with this product. Um, but maybe if you elaborate a little bit, we can answer that a little bit better. Um, someone asked, does the platform integrate with uh, the closed CRM? So I'm going to let you guys answer that one. Um, I don't know. Probably we have, we have what's called a, uh, a lead forwarding email insert. So most CRMs will have an email that you drop into a vendor like us, and then that will send all the leads to them. So I would just ask close if they've got that email. And, and uh, again, it's called a lead forwarding email. So just ask close support. Do you offer the. Yeah. Yeah. It can be super easy just to route them right over. Right. So um, short answer is yes. <laughs> no, they'll help you yes. get that set up. <laughs> uh is it possible to use multiple MLSs? That's a great question. We currently belong to four. Would you have to toggle between them uh, that are not shared between different MLSs? What do we think there, guys? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I don't know if you can get to four, but when you go to your profile, you you probably what I would recommend doing when you sign up, it's going to ask you for, for a, an MLS email. Right. So what's the email in that? And if it's the same email, so let's say you're in four and it's the same email, just put it right here. And, and, you know, if you've been in the business for a while, you may have an old email. It may not be your day-to-day -day email. So make sure that's the right one. And if it's separate emails, you can put a comma and put your second email. So maybe you have two different emails, but I recommend when you're in the wizard, just put the email address of your main CO, uh, your, your main MLS and then come back to this page in your profile or ask our support team to help you do that. Awesome. To put those up. Yeah. We have another question. It's interesting. I'm actually excited to answer this one. Someone asked, the conversion rate is 1%, right? Let's say that's what the yeah. conversion rate is. Why would I spend thousands of dollars on this? And folks, that's really a very conservative conversion rate, number one. But number two, every successful brokerage team, top producing agent is investing heavily and in generating top of funnel leads. It's it's a necessity for your business in order to keep that machine running, right? Yeah, and you know, so, and can, I, yeah, yeah. can I answer that real quickly? Yeah. So first of all, think about compounding. So in the first month, you're gonna gener generate 100 leads, one or two may close. The second month, you're gonna generate you know 100 leads, one or two gonna, are gonna close from that month. But then one or two may close that came in in January and then in March and April. And, and this is where most agents fall apart is because they're absolutely inconsistent. They have no discipline to keep up with the plan. So they're running an ad this week. They get a couple of leads. They're running an ad a couple of weeks later. They get a couple of leads. And your conversion is awful because you have no, you have no good follow-up. You're not getting uh, good at being on the phone with people because you're not consistently running ads and, and get, generating leads. The other thing is your consistency will definitely, uh, or your conversion will definitely increase if people know who the heck you are. So probably nobody in your area knows a lot about who you are at this point, right? For some of you, some of you, you know, I'm just speaking to those people. So our short form video scripts, the social media postings, 
all of the other tools that we have are going to massively increase your visibility so that over time, you're probably going to not even spend so much money on ads because your visibility using the tools in Listing to Leads is going to, you know, like Vince said, that branding aspect will start kicking in. So, you know, don't think of this as a short-term play of like, I did an ad and I called the lead and they didn't answer me and oh my God, I'm going to quit real estate. No, you got to lean into this stuff and work the free stuff and work the paid stuff and do it consistently. Well, I love that. And one thing that you really pointed out was kind of that, that repeat and referral opportunity too, right? Like the more that you create top of mind marketing on social media and you use all of these tools, most agents are only really capitalizing about 13% of their repeat and referral business. Just being present right. and being out there on social media is going to drastically change that. And if you're using these listing toolkits, you're going to generate 2.2 listings from every listing that you get. So that those are, are additional free leads, additional conversions, yeah. where it's just all working together to really keep you busy and generate revenue. And so we've seen it work time and time again. I, yeah. I, let me say something also to, to respond there, um, because, you know, when, when you're thinking of, I'm going to spend money to get leads, it's like, that's a one-to-many kind of relationship that you're talking about. And there's a cost. And if you look at it that way, that's probably not the right way to look at it. If you look at listing leads as what it's really doing, which we really haven't gotten completely into, you're basically fishing with like a net or with multiple fishing poles because you're in multiple areas and they kind of, you know, connect as opposed to I'm, I'm sharing something for free somewhere and it actually is colorful, but doesn't capture leads. Everything we're doing has the ability to capture leads. So it's really in any business, whether it's real estate or selling cars or eyelashes, you got to market in multiple areas. And that's what listings to leads does completely automatically. And it lastly, is... lastly, to answer that question, this guy here generates 114 leads that cost him $350 total and sells four homes from that group of leads. That ROI is pretty tremendous, right? The commission on four home purchases in Texas is more than $350. Guys, like, one conversion pays for the next 12 months. <laughs> yeah. Of, of advertising, right? Generating generating new business. And I'll let one of your peers answer this because we had a great response in the chat from, I think, Jeremiah here. He says, the size of your business is directly related to the size of your database, right? And so that 1% that conversion only represents that immediate close, not the database that's going to sustain your business into the future. Yeah. And so, so, so important to always be building that list. Another quick question, guys. Do we have the eBooks in Spanish? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Um, let's see, the mastermind group is included when you sign up for the membership. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Is there an extra charge for the mastermind? No, no. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. Could my TC and I join for the same price assistant is what I mean. So I'm going to say that if they're not an agent, they could help you operate the system. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. They can log in. There, there's no, we don't have seats. So when you have an agent account, if you need two to three people logging into it, you know, whatever, that's fine. Or they can, yeah. So hopefully that answered that. I see Jeanette. I need this. I have a sold listing pending right now under contract. I feel like I need to take advantage of this and not lose momentum. Jeanette, we love it. Like, can we get that QR oh. code back up for Jeanette so she can go and access this and start her free trial today? And a couple of other questions. Um, does this allow them to generate local or can they use it for international leads? Both. Both. Um, <laughs> we have clients, like I have clients, uh, a big office in, in Orlando, the owner is from Ecuador. She is um, has units for sale in Florida that she's marketing in Colombia because there's so much turmoil. People are trying to get out of out of Colombia and they buy a house and you know move. So you, you can do that. Also, a lot of people, you know, Florida, Texas, Arizona, they're marketing in California. They're marketing in New York City and in Chicago because people want to get out of high tax, cold winter areas and move yeah. down where homes are cheaper. So you don't have to, you know, you, you can be in other countries inside the country. Yeah. I love it. Guys, if you can't tell, they've thought about everything here. <laughs> All the answers are yes, yes, yes. I love it. Uh, we had another uh, attendee here, Nora. She said, I just signed up. I can't wait. I have an appointment. Got to run. Thank you, guys. She loved it. Uh, one other question uh, from, from Jose. He asked for the 100 point marketing plan. How much time is needed to implement that? Uh, is it time intensive? No, because a hundred point home marketing plan will run through the listing at every single at every status. 
So for example, when the listing is just listed, you'll have a set of marketing tools. If you do an open house, there's a set of marketing tools. So, I mean, it can take, you know, it depends on what you're going to do, you know, anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes uh, to 30 minutes to go through the whole thing. So, you know, how much do you want to build your visibility in your local market? Right. You know, so. I think, let me, let me answer that too. That marketing plan, I'll, I want to say 80% is completely automatically done. We're team, we're feeding you the tools. You can share them or we're sharing them automatically. You could click a button and run an ad in, you know, two clicks. So there's not a huge time uh, commitment here. It's just the way that we've configured the system. We want to get the most out of all your listings. And that's what that listing marketing plan speaks to. It, it, from your perspective, when you when you look at it, it's really meant for a homeowner to say, I'm doing all these things and capturing leads with all those touch points. That's really what you need to understand. And all those things, if you're if you're looking at our listing uh, marketing side, these tools are 75% of this is all automated. You're not really, you know, messing with it. Yes, you want to run ads. Yes, you want to do some mailings. And yeah, you want to e-blast, you know, e do some e-flyers on your CRM. That's not a huge amount of time. Yeah, guys, I think we've seen time and time again just how powerful this system is. And we've heard directly from some of their clients, you know, how it's been a no-brainer and an integral tool of their growth. And uh, like I said, it's it's no risk, right? You've got 30 days free uh, that you're able to access this, try it, give it a shot, right? And throw a hundred bucks into some advertising, right? Where you're not paying a monthly fee and see what you get. Right. And and really give it your all. And for any of you, if you if you do sign up, get into the mastermind group, let us know that you came from the webinar. And uh, you know, if you got a particular question, we'll uh we'll try to get you the help that you need to get going as quickly as possible. Cause I want to get back to Tom and tell Tom that somebody from this group here already got a listing appointment this week so that we can get some good stuff going. Awesome. Yeah, and, and to yeah. that point, because people are saying, Hey, I've got sold properties reach out to us in the mastermind group and let's make sure you're taking advantage. You're getting a, a sold out on Facebook. It's easy. It's you're going to get leads and either get a postcard or a nearby homeowner letter out again, a couple clicks, but make sure you're doing that with every sold listing so that you can multiply your listings. That's really a key, key uh, point here. Yeah. And guys, what I'm going to do, I think, because we're kind of wrapping up here, we still got a lot of you here with us today. So if you have questions, folks, type them in the chat. Please type them in. If you're ready to go sign up, you're ready to take your business and start generating leads, scan that QR code, um, or I'll drop the link in the chat box here for you. Uh, again, go use that. But then also what I'd like to share with you guys is, um, you know, a link to that uh, that interview that we did with um Dustin Fox and Eric Pearson, because I was so excited to hear from them directly about how they use this to grow their uh, their brokerage, their team. So the link is in there. If you're if you still have questions, you're still unsure, click that link, watch that video, and hear from them how they've used it and the impact this has had on their business. And there'll actually be a link in the description there where you can access this trial as well. So you know, go check it out. If for whatever reason you're still on the fence, thirty days risk free, free leads. <laughs> uh, if, if that's not for you, you still haven't decided. What listen to them, hear what they have to say. The link is there. Uh, you know, sign up. We can't wait to uh, to work with you guys. I'm going to send this to everybody as well. This is on our homepage. It's our testimonials page. And there's a lot of feedback from a lot of agents and some of it's video. And But I think you can learn a lot by what these people are doing with our platform and see if these things are are what you need in your business, right? So have a look here, right? There's just so many ways of using our system. And for $60 a month, it's a no brainer. It's month to month. We're not holding you to a contract and you've got a support team. You've got Scott and I here to help, but we got a great support team. We've got training every week. Spend a little time investing to, to find out what we're doing. If you're in real estate, it's going to help your business grow. Yeah. And agents, agents definitely need it, right? <laughs> Especially right now more than ever. So really yeah. affordable, effective tool guys. And you know, we hope you'll take advantage. Um, with that, I don't see any other questions. We just have quite a few people here today. So I'm really excited that, that you guys have stayed with us, that you're excited about this. Clearly it's a, a, a quite a timely concept and conversation that we're having here. 
uh, because we've had great engagement throughout the session. Uh, you know, a lot of, uh, of agents who are actually going and signing up and excited to use it. And we'd love to see that. You know, that's what RE Technology is all about. It is bringing you guys these partnerships and uh, connecting our, our subscribers with great effective tools that are going to help them succeed. And, and we're so excited that we've been able to really work closely with listings to leads this year and, and bring that to you. And so, you know, Scott, Vince, always a pleasure. Thank you again for your time and for, you know, bringing this to our audience. I know they're excited about it. And if there's no other questions, I think we, we can probably wrap it up. What do you think? Awesome. Thank you, Tom. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Vince, for the uh, great presentation. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Tom. And thanks, everybody, for, for joining us today. All right, guys. Have a good day. Thanks. All right. Bye.